Woo, all right, now finally, wow. Finally, we can all take a deep breath. Today's February 17th, Michael Jordan's birthday. It's All-Star Weekend, and we know this is the release of the Jordan 4 Breads. So now, take a moment with me. <sighs> Breathe, let it out, because we got some stuff to talk about. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I have good news, I have drama. We are gonna talk about it. But let's first start. Let's first start with you and the good news. Let's go. All right, so the good news is, number one, congratulations to everybody who hit on the Sneakers app today on the initial release. Look, let me tell you something. Congrats to everybody who hit because I personally know people who had undoubled and tripled up, even quadrupled up on this release. And let me tell you something, y'all are absolutely killing it. Now, let me tell you something that I wasn't doing. I wasn't killing anything because on the initial shock drop, your boy waited 26 minutes after the shock drop just to catch that L. And then today, you know, I was on a group, I was on a couple of other people's lives and every, you know, I don't know if it means, I don't, look, I know nothing. Tell you what I do know. I took another <laughs> L on Sneakers app. So in my mind, what that means is when these military blues come out, your boy's about to hit because I haven't hit on no Kobe's. I haven't hit on nothing. All right. So sneakers, hear me. I'm due. All right. I'm due. So congrats to all of the winners. Yes, sir. All right. So this morning started off, you know, a little crazy because we out here in Colorado. A little chilly outside it's starting to warm up a little bit but this morning we you know we were blessed with a little bit of snow so of course you know your boy had to put in a little bit of you know footwork you know i mean in order to make it out to the stores now shout out to everybody who's at the dick sporting goods out there in park meadows mall because yo man don't you just love the, the sneaker community yo isn't it so dope we stepped out i was kind of chopping it up with a couple of fellas out there some people had hit on the shock drop others haven't and you know this reservation was the spot for them look they open up the store nine o'clock we were outside waiting There's a couple of us out there we walked in there everybody was able to secure their pairs without no problems once again this is the dick sporting goods out in park metals mall Go holla at my boy Deuce over there because he knows what he is doing. And man, it is time for us to expose some drama because number one, I didn't mention this, but the sneakers app, you know, was a whatever. But look, it is time for us, Dick's Sporting Goods, not Park Meadows. I'm showing love, support, and gratitude to Park Meadows Mall because the team over there is awesome. But we're gonna address up an issue at the Dick Sporting Good at Southlands Mall. It's time to put them on blast. So yeah, let's do that. All right, now number one, I'm gonna hold the mic on this one because there are some parts of this video where uh, your boy is just kind of gonna let loose. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna start off by putting them right here. I want you to take a look at that store number. One, three, four, three store 1343 this is going out to the dick sporting good at 6305 south main street suite a 101 also known as southlands mall let me tell you something i don't know i honestly don't know if y'all are gatekeeping or if it's just pure ignorance might be a combination of both but let me tell you something you need to do better y'all need to do better because i even witnessed with my own eyes of what happened today I please go back and watch your videos that I've already spoke about this store in particular because I've, I've already been told that they don't do uh, reservations at this store that they don't sell Jordans there I've been told all types of stuff about this store and nothing for nothing I'll be honest with you I even said in an in old in an old video a different video I was like I'm not even gonna mess with this store because when you're dealing with a bunch of individuals that don't even seem interested in even helping you give your business somewhere else I know DSG Dick Sporting Good you know, it's it, it. It don't matter if you you're still supporting Dick Sporting Good if you go to this store, or that store, or that store. But my whole point is, I'd rather show love to a store that's that's for people that's getting paid to work there, that know what they're talking about, and that's passionate about what they're doing, and that's willing to help you out. All right, now that I got off my chest, let me tell you guys the situation of what I experienced today. All right, so you know about the Park Meadows 
It was a great experience. Go holler at the boys over there because they know what they're talking about. But over at Southlands Mall, let me tell you what happened. I walked into the Southlands Mall location. Listen to me. I got greeted by the guy right in the front. I was like, hey, I have the Jordan 4 Bridge reimagined. On reservation, I'm here to pick up my pair. Here it comes. Oh, sorry, sir. You had a half an hour window, a uh, reservation window, in order to pick up this sneaker. I said, what? He goes, yeah, we open up at 8. You had until 8.30 to, uh, to pick up your pair of sneakers. So I go, wow, that's amazing because nobody, absolutely nobody shared this information with us when we went and signed up last week, Saturday. Right? When we drove out in the snow to come reserve this, nobody shared this information with us. Why not? So while I'm talking to him, telling him this, shout out to one of my guys who was who was checking out. He goes, hey, Derek, Mr. Think, they got a size 14 right here. I know you had this on reserve. Come take it. I'm pissed. I don't even want to. I don't even want him. I told him, I was like, nah, bro, go ahead and you're here before me because he's, he's at the line checking out. He just hears me going at it with the employee up in front. So he goes, nah, come, I don't even want to spend my money in this store. So the reality behind it is, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened at this Dick Sporting Good. You see, number one, this same store is the same store that turned around and told me that they don't even do reservations there and that they don't sell Jordans. I, I've been told all types of stuff at this particular store, right? So there's gatekeeping going on. Now that it was actually released over the website, that this particular location was doing the reservation for the Jordan 4 bread. Now, on the website, the website had told you that they were doing the release at 10 a.m. to 11.30, that you have an hour and a half to pick up your reserve shoe. After that time frame, after that window, then they release it to the general public. Awesome, we understand that. Nobody told us at that store Remember, myself and a lot of other people, we, were, we live really close to this location. Nobody told us that we had a half an hour, we had a 30 minute window to pick up our shoes at the store. Nobody told us this. And they didn't tell us that on purpose, all right? Now, let me tell you something. The reason why I'm making this video is because number one, I'm giving you my word because I told y'all in the store, I told you I was gonna talk very bad about y'all. Okay, look, we're not stupid, all right? You're gatekeeping these kicks. You're holding on to these kicks. You're telling your friends or whoever that you're telling, whatever, whatever you're doing on the side, whatever backdooring and gatekeeping you're doing, that's your, but we're not dumb, all right? That, let's, let, let's put that out there. We are not dumb. And because we are in this community that we love so much, we're gonna spread the word. So my word is going to be to anyone that do wanna mess with this store, get there when they first open because they're gonna try to keep as much information from you as possible. They're gonna try to, but you know what, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna expose them. We're gonna expose all of this nonsense. All right, let's just put it right there on Fun Street. You know what? The store is right off of Main Street, so we're going to put this on Main Street. <laughs> I stand on Main Street. <laughs> but the reality behind it is, look, that location needs to do better. They just they just need to do better. And when I talked to the, the cashier, very nice girl up front there, you know, and I, you know, she was really nice. She kept a smile on her face and I wasn't even chewing her out. I was telling her, look, you have people that get paid to work here in the store and you have individuals here that A, don't know what they're talking about or B, they're just gatekeeping information. They're just gatekeeping, right? And they do it on purpose. Look, it's one thing to be ignorant. Actually, people think that ignorance is a bad thing and I'm gonna tell you it's not. Ig ignorance is a lack of knowledge. That just means I didn't know, right? So, so if someone says, hey, Derek, did you know that Nordstrom also has the Jordan 4 breads? Nordstrom, by the way, they do have Jordan 4 breads. But if someone says, Derek, did you know that Nordstrom has the Jordan 4 breads as well? And I turned around and said, no, I was ignorant to that information. It's not a bad, it's just a lack of knowledge. But what do you call it when people are intentionally misleading you with bad information? They're doing it on purpose. They want to start by saying, hey, we don't even do reservations at this store. So anyone that, a customer that walks into the store, they're already shunning you out to another store. Cool. Now for the person that does their research and knows that your store 
is doing a reservation. Now, man, I can't tell you we're not doing it because you've done your research and you know that we are. But I can mislead you as far as the times, the pickup times. That's what, that's how I can still mislead you. Me, you were able to get on a reservation list, but guess what? I'm curious on how many people were not able to get their sneakers from that particular location because they weren't told the proper information. So when I asked the young girl, the, uh, the lady at the, the cashier, when I was getting these 14s, because I had these 14s on, on, uh, on reserve, my size, personal size is the 12. She said, oh yeah, they forgot to tell people uh, about the pickup time, the reservation uh, window, the pickup time. It had nothing to do with her. But hear me out. If you have a reservation, uh, take the sneakers out of it. Take the sneakers out of it. If you have a reservation at a restaurant, right? What is the most important part of that reservation? No lie, the most important part is the time. Like flat out. After the time, right? Then they're gonna wanna ask how big the party is so that they can have enough space and people and tables put together. Whatever, right? Staff and all that. Part of, but no lie, like the most important part of a reservation is really the date and the time. How did they forget to tell people the time restriction that you had to pick up these kids? It's all good. Comment down below, subscribe to your boy. Outside of that part, yo, congrats once again. Today's a huge day. Enjoy some basketball. Enjoy some time with your family. And finally, we can breathe because the Jordan 4 bread reimagine has dropped today. Congrats to everybody that hit on these joints. Now get ready for the drama with the military blues.